Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to use pivot in QuickSight. So to do this, you have to click this okay icon for the pivot table. And now let's okay add uh, yeah annual salary to the values, and then okay we can add the department to the rows. So now we can see, yeah, in the rows, okay, the different okay departments are mentioned and the respective salary is mentioned here. Similar to table, we have the same, okay, visual properties, except we have few, something like pivot options. Also we have, uh, okay, total. So in the total, we have rows and columns, two divisions now, also subtotals. So let's explore it one by one. So to begin with, right, I will change this uh, column uh, heading, which is currently annual salary USD sum to total salary. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I will add one more dimension called ethnicity. Yeah. So this will give us the distribution like uh, of this total salary across the different ethnicity latino caucasian and black here uh, if i want to actually display the row total then i have to go to this total option and enable the rows so you can see the position is at the top okay by default we can actually change it to bottom that's how usually it will be in the excel yeah by default so we have done that and then to get the column wise okay total also we can enable this button so now we get the column wise total so let me reduce okay this and uh, now we can see yeah in full view okay so this is how the standard okay pivot table works so other than this right uh, we have one more option which is called subtotal this and the pivot options will be useful if we add one more dimension over here so to do this uh, i'm going to actually go by let's say like in this case the country okay so now you can see right uh, for each okay department the different countries how much they are uh, we are actually spending as a salary for each of these countries that level distribution we are actually now able to see so this is the uh, subtotal value whereas for the column wise total we can see like lower all latino uh, we are spending okay around 27 million for brazil we are spending 1 million for the accounting department so okay so now let, let me actually go and explain this pivot options under pivot options we have two lay types of layout hierarchy and tabular so hierarchy is what you're seeing right now in the tree format and if you click tabular so this will be actually moved to a second column so whatever okay dimensions that we have in the rows will be moved to a new column so in this case we have only country right so it is moved to new column and also we have uh, values position like columns and rows so if I change this right, okay, it's kind of like unpivoting option. So however, I'll retain the old option. And then, okay, we also have plus or minus buttons. These are that. So we can actually even uh, hide it or display it. It depends. Also, right, uh, we can actually focus on one single okay department also. So in this case, right, if I click uh, finance, only for the finance we are seeing but at the same time right you should see in the filter okay uh, pane we have this filter that is added so yeah for now right let's disable this and bring back the the original view so i'm going to delete this so we can actually click this minus to collapse and we can actually focus on one specific department also so and also there is something called like single metric if i click this okay the the, the column 
values now right will be shifted into one single row in this way right we can see yeah for each okay uh, department and country uh, okay directly this latino caucasian and black uh, and okay asian salary distribution in this okay level itself but however if you want to display like what is this metric all about then we will actually write and hide this let's keep the original one so yeah pretty much like these are the different options right that uh, we have in the pivot table so we have seen okay this now let's actually write try to change the aggregation that we are seeing here so currently it is all uh, you know what like it is all sorry currently it is all uh, sum of total salary right so let me actually change this so for that right uh, understanding okay uh, purpose i am going to remove all these things okay so let me now illustrate with this itself even i don't need the country let me remove this okay now we are seeing the total salary we have aggregation to even change this calculation to average okay to do this let me now change it to average now what we are seeing is average salary yeah very well we can actually change this average salary so to add okay one more field right let me retain the total salary as well so this one i will call it as total salary let me retain this and then one more uh, sorry one more dimension i will add it that's for average so this one i will change it to average also right we can do some other okay calculations also uh, for example right if i add annual salary here we can actually find the running total so so to, to do this right first of all let me actually write give a proper okay title to this total salary second one is going to be the average salary third one is going to be the running salary okay this is the running total so now we can see right uh, okay the running total is not actually correct because it has actually calculated in the horizontal manner to do the change in approach we have to click this table down now we can see like it is going in the downward manner so yes 11.8 million plus 17.2 million comes around to be like 29 million 29 plus 14 comes around to be like 43 million and it go, goes until it reaches the total value so this is a running total other than this right we can also uh, do okay the difference between the previous row and the second row so for this right we need to click this difference so again okay, we can see it is currently blank because it is calculating in the horizontal manner row row wise but however we want in the column wise so to do change this approach let's go and select calculate as and click table down so now we can see right the difference so how much is the difference between okay 11.8 million to 17.2 million which means okay 5405 so yeah we can do this and also right uh, our right this uh, yeah this will be more applicable right if we use uh, in the place of department maybe some of the time dimensions so let me do this so instead of okay a department i am going to replace with the higher date uh, so we saw in the previous session how to aggregate this uh, date calculations i'm going to go by year so now we can see right uh, and also i will arrange it in such a way that we will always see the latest uh, dates so at the first uh, this is one way also we can arrange in the ascending way 
so now we can see the last column is nothing but the difference okay let me give it as difference So let me actually reduce this size. Yeah. So now we can see right the difference uh, that is there. So we had actually 7.9 million as of 2020. 2021 we had 9.5 difference is around 1.586 so we can also represent this difference in terms of percentage to do that okay let me add this measure and okay i will actually change the uh, table calculation as okay percentage difference so now if i have to see this okay we can see again it is blank because the way it is calculating is table across we should make it table down so now okay let me check sorry about this yeah now we can see the percentage difference between the current year to the last year so we can see for 2020 uh yeah we had a difference of 1.58 that amounts to 19.95 difference so this we call it as percentage okay difference so yeah so these are actually right different okay calculation modes available uh, methods available in the pivot table so now let's try uh, okay one different okay aggregations based on uh, columns also so so far we had only rows and the dimension and okay we had values now we will include the column dimension also so let's do this so now instead of okay this yeah i'll give department here i will give okay annual salary and then okay in the second okay dimension i'll give ethnicity okay in the columns i will give the country so let me change this to total salary yep now we can also give the total grand total row wise and the column wise so now let's distribute or, or actually show the same in terms of percentage of the total calculation so here there is something called okay percentage of the total so if you see right everything is coming as 100 percentage because it is doing table across calculation by default to change it right we need to do table group because we are now having okay ethnicity grouped under the accounting so only this calculation comes right so i will do group across down that is leading with 35.68 percentage under accounting department next comes okay asian and then black and then okay and then latino and then black so overall right uh, this is an individual contribution uh, for the total salary so that way right we can actually do the grouping in the pivot table and then do the percentage calculation yeah uh, other than this right we can also uh, rank okay it's okay maybe i will remove this i'll remove even this so now i can also do okay instead of this uh, okay running total okay i'm going to add table calculation and add rank so let me change this heading to now okay rank 
I'm just okay comparing okay in which okay year we have spent uh, the max like we have maximum expenditure so we can actually sort in the descending okay and then yeah we can see like which year we are having the yeah we can see yeah obviously okay 2021 we are having yeah 9.5 million maybe due to inflation so these are actually like different types of aggregations and analysis that we can do in the pivot table yeah in the next video we can actually see how to use the kpi visual in the quick side